China's premier has warned of economic fragmentation and even confrontation as governments move to further politicize the global economy. Premier Li Tiang spoke at the World Economic Forum in Tianjin, known as the Summer Davos. He projected a faster pace of growth for China in the second quarter, despite international concern about sluggishness in Asia's largest economy. CNA's Lo Min Min with more. No. Premier Li started his half-hour speech painting a grim portrayal of the state of the world, saying that deglobalization, unilateralism and protectionism are rising and regional conflicts are flaring up. The world is now at a crossroads, he said, and how we navigate this turbulent moment will be critical. Without name-checking, Mr. Lee said that some people are creating invisible barriers to push the world into division, even confrontation. He said all the more it is important to engage in dialogue and communication to prevent misunderstandings and misperceptions. But the key to that, he said, is sincerity. That's clearly a veiled swipe at the US, which Beijing has repeatedly accused of being insincere in wanting communication with China on the one hand, but then constantly challenging China fundamental principles and core interests on the other. Mr. Lee also said that some in the West are hyping up reducing dependencies and de-risking. He said this is a false proposition and that an interconnected world is a good thing, not a bad thing. Chiet 意识形态化 Mr. Lee's speech comes amid growing export controls from US and its allies, and just days after the EU released a new security roadmap calling for de-risking from China. He sought to reassure investors that China's economic rebound is not losing momentum, even as statistics show record high youth unemployment rates, sluggish manufacturing, insufficient domestic demand, and falling exports. From今年来看,中国经济回升向好的态势比较明显。我们一季度已经公布了经济增幅是4.5%,预计二季度会快于一季度。全年我们有望实现原来年初确定的经济增幅5%左右的目标。Mr. Lee said China is introducing more practical and effective measures to invigorate the market and further tap on the potential of domestic demand. But he failed to provide the specifics on what substantial stimulus China plans to roll out in the second half of this year. The size and the attractiveness of China's market remains kind of unparalleled. Its centrality in global supply chains, something else Mr. Lee emphasized. And, you know, the, the rhetoric is very good. And then the reality on the ground sometimes is a little bit different uh, because it doesn't feel as though consumer and investor confidence has been restored from the big hit of 2022. This is the first time China is hosting the Summer Davos after a three-year hiatus due to the pandemic. Even as China has lifted most COVID restrictions, journalists were required to take a COVID-19 PCR test 24 hours prior to attending the opening plenary. Over 1,500 delegates attended this year, just three quarters of the attendance numbers in the previous editions before the pandemic. Analysts say that this is a window for the world to visit China again in person and understand the country to make up for lost time after three years of isolation from its zero-COVID strategy. Lo Min Min, CNA, Tianjin.